if your home is anything like ours, the builder did not install lights in the closet. I've always found these closets to be dark. And sometimes you even need your phone light just to find something in the corner. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna install lights in this closet without any wiring or switches. This is gonna allow you to make any dark closets much brighter in your home. Here's what I'll be using. These are rechargeable under counter lights. I have some steel strapping, my tin snips to cut that, some screws and a screwdriver. These motion sensing LED lights come in a three pack. They charge using a standard USB-C connection. They come with these short cords and plug it in. You notice that the red light goes on to tell you that it's charging. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. The lights have three modes on where they're constantly on auto one where the motion sensor works in a somewhat dark situation and auto two where the motion sensor works only when it's really dark. I use auto one because I find that works better. It takes into account some ambient light from outside or from a light somewhere else in the area. To change the modes, you just tap on the little pad here and it cycles through each of the modes. The little indicator down at the bottom tells you which mode it's on. When they're on, you can adjust the brightness by putting your finger on the pad here and holding it down. It will reduce the brightness till it's lowest and then you place your finger again on the pad and it increases the brightness until it's fully bright. I usually keep ours at the fully bright setting because I find that's easiest to see things in the closet. On the back, they have these spots that are indicated. These are magnet spots and they come with these small metal plates with the 3M adhesive that stick to that magnet spot. Now we're going to be using these magnet spots, but we're not going to be using the metal plates that come with the lights. I'll link to the lights I used in the description down below. You can choose any motion sensing LED rechargeable lights that are magnetic on the back and it should work pretty similar. When I'm using the lights in the closet, I don't want them flat. I want to angle them so that they're directing the light to where I need it to be. But those flat metal plates it comes with won't allow me to do that. So that's where this steel strapping comes into play. This is steel strapping that's typically used to hold pipes or ductwork up in your house, but it is all steel. And it has these holes that you can put a screw through to attach it to the wall or to the trim. And because it's all steel, it sticks to the magnetic spot on the back of the light. I've found for the steel strapping that I have, I use a piece that's about two and a half inches long, which is four holes on the strapping that I have. And I'm gonna use my tin snips to cut it. If you don't have tin snips, you can use a, a wire cutter and bend it back and forth. The tin snips just makes it a little easier. So I'm gonna cut it. And now I have my piece that's about two and a half inches long. So I'm going to take pliers and make sure everything's flat and then I'm going to bend it at the midpoint because this is going to give me the ability to angle the lights in whatever direction. I'll start with about 90 degrees, uh, just makes it easier to put the screw through the screw hole and then I can adjust it when I'm in the closet with the lights. Now to figure out where you want to place the light so it shines in the correct direction, just turn the light on and then hold it up in different spots. Now, if I did it from one side, that might not light up the other area. But if I do it from the top, that'll certainly light up the shelf and our coats. So I think I'll start with one at the top in the middle, attach it there, see if I need another one maybe on the side. Sometimes you may want one down low, shining on a shoe or boot rack that you might have there. So I have my first bracket here. I'm going to place it on the wall. Just using a, a one and a quarter inch screw here. And we're going to screw it in. Because this is above a door, I may hit the wooden header, uh, but I might not. In either case, it's okay. It doesn't feel like I did. Now I can bend this. And this is where the magnetic part of the light is going to attach to. So you can see that the magnetic portion part attaches right there. I have to put the second one up or it'll fall down. But now you can also see that I'm going to bend it 
so that the light shines in the direction that I want. Measure the distance between the two magnetic spots on the light so you know where to put the second strap. This looks like it's six and a half inches for these lights. So I measured over the six and a half inches and I installed the second bracket. Now I can attach the light and set it to one of the auto settings to test it out. So I'll take my light and attach it to the magnetic spots. You see how it sticks there. Now I can just touch this on and then this is auto one. Now I will close the closet doors and we'll check out how it works out. I've closed the closet doors. I've waited about 30 seconds to make sure that the light's gone off. Now I'm going to open this door and see. It doesn't come on, but if you just wave your hand, it does come on. And now you can see how much brighter this closet is than it was before. I can easily see everything that's on the top. I can see the coats. Now I just need to decide, maybe I'll wait till it gets to night, to see if I need to put one somewhere else in this closet. So if you only need one, you've got two more in the package and you can brighten up two more dark closets. If you do have multiple lights in the closet, you might need to wave your hand in uh, the direction of each of those lights. But if you just have one, then just moving your hand in that direction turns that light on. If you need to adjust the angle, then just adjust those straps so that you make sure that the light is angled exactly where you need it to be. Be careful when you're adjusting the straps that the light doesn't fall off accidentally. So hold the strap and the light together as you adjust it. When the light needs to be recharged, just remove it from the straps, plug it in, charge it, and install it again. I'll put links to the lights and the strapping in the description down below. Now you won't have any more dark closets. If you found this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll also find interesting. Thanks for watching.